right guys, so Gabe's here. He's outside. He says he has something for me. I'm gonna go check it out and see what's going on. What's that dude? Yeah way! Could it be? What could it be guys? Oh man! And now I know he's been needing this for a while, so figured I'd get it for Christmas and well here we are. Let's see what it is. See what this is. Really, man? This is what you get? Yeah. I, 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 I love it, man. I mean, it's great. It's great. I mean, everyone I mean, needs some socks. I mean, they're so sweet looking, yeah, aren't they? I mean, yeah. that, that color on them, the, yeah. the polka dots. That's just the color of my car, dude. My little, rim and my... It's even got the little compression, you know, nice. band on the on the foot. You know, I thought about you, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. You know. it's the perfect yeah, gift yeah. my grandma would give me. But hey, yeah, yeah. yeah, so... Where'd you even get these, dude? Like, just one pair? Well, I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, one of those things, you know, just kind of be a little thoughtful. And, Let me uh, see. You know, I kind of took oh. mine off and oh. just gave them to you. I mean, <laughs> giving you the <laughs> sock off my foot, so to speak. It's, it's a sock that keeps on giving, guys. <laughs> it keeps on giving, exactly. You, you know? son of a bitch. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, so as much as... I know you guys wanted it to be socks. It wasn't socks. It was, which I'm sure you were able to tell. But it's actually this bad boy. So we're going from this older style design lip to this new like 5X axis design lip, which actually the quality in this is really nice. Um, I have to pull this bad boy off to test fit it, which I'll either do later on today. But from the looks of it, like it's nice and thick. And it's gonna go on and just bring the car a whole different look, which I know there aren't very many options out there for RTCs. So we're gonna take this and keep running with it. Stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, we have to get rid of the old lip. So we removed this old lip. Um, it's taken a beating, you know, um, but what can you do? That's the way it works. You also, for this new lip, because it's gonna actually, it's gonna come up here. I had to remove the um, fog light covers. Now I think I'm gonna take these off and um, do something with them. Um, I know I can replace it with a standard fog light and I might go that route, but I might make some custom fog lights or some really cool covers like you see for the uh, Civics, how they have like a nice opening and then a hole here so you can get your intake flow but of course you don't want to just leave it open like this it looks a little tacky all right so I did test fit the new lip and like anything the polyurethane never comes to fit exact even if it's a higher paying quality lip or a cheaper lip um, all in all it just never fits right so I actually test fitted it already um, I can put it on in just a sec but like anything you actually have to heat it and they even mention it in the description when you purchase these deals like professional installation required not going to fit exact and it's absolutely true so what you do is you put it on and you heat it and push and mold and change shape and then it fits a whole lot snugger and tighter now when i put it on um i don't know if you can see the line here i had to draw it on because it actually extends out into where my fog light cover goes. And so obviously it's not gonna fit on with the cover on, so I'm gonna have to trim that away. But everything else fits really good. I heat it here and pushed in, and all I do is I put on a set of gloves, and I'll show you, put on a set of gloves and I push after I heat, so it starts taking that nice mold of the, the, the bumper. And we wouldn't even think that there's um, a push forward here, but there really is so when I got it out of the box This sat kind of flat. So after heating it and pushing it it actually got that shape You see there So it'll fit so much better So let me put it on so you can kind of see where it's sitting and why I got to make the cuts that I have to make So this is exactly what I'm talking about. So I've heated this up and I've like uh, like I said with gloves because the polyurethane becomes a little hot, like hot so after heating it, I actually used my knuckles and the corner of my hand to kind of push 
and so you see how it's giving it a real like a real tight fit and that's exactly what I wanted now here is what I'm talking about so I don't know if you can see but in here you'll see the line of where the um, the cover fits so once it's in there it's not going to be able to sit flush because of this part so I'm gonna have to actually trim some away which is okay not a big deal but it fits really good I also heated here and kind of moved it in I'm gonna do it now that I've done some sanding I'll heat it a little more once I'm all done before paint so it fits just a little more flush but double-sided sticky tape will definitely hold that on and same as same here but besides that it fits really good same thing on this side um, I've heated it up and I've done the whole heat and push and kind of made a tighter fit um, I might do it a little more here before paint as well so that way it gets tight like the other side and here it's done the same thing let's see let me push it oh these Germans he wants a little bit of a scratch okay there come on <laughs> okay Roar! he likes to get in the way he likes to play so a little bit of dogs need some love which I don't mind so um, the fits pretty good I'm trying to make sure it's on right so even here I heated and put on um, this side I need to see why but it's sitting a little high and I just need to heat here and let it fall so once that's done it's gonna have a good fit and then paint it so <clears throat> this is exactly what I'm saying you definitely want to wear some gloves because it gets really hot and it allows for like a smooth um, rub so I have this small gap here it's not really anything and of course I'm sure some double-sided sticky tape will hold it on but I'm gonna heat that up and just massage it a little more also here rises a little so I want to heat that so it falls and it gets just a closer deal so what I do is I heat it up once I get it the shape that I want I throw on some tape so that way as it's cooling it holds that shape and position but we'll show you so, set that there and of course I have my heat gun that I got from Harbor Freight because let's face it I just need it to just heat I mean you could use your standard blow dryer but this is what I have you want to do nice even strokes you don't want to just focus in one area for a long time because you'll actually um, do some damage um, just like anything else if you put too much heat for too long it's definitely going to uh, bubble up you know, plastic another thing you'll also notice is as you're heating it up it naturally wants to take the form of the bumper um, so I don't even have to do much rubbing but it's, it's actually kind of neat to see it just sit closer and closer and closer as it warms up but let me go ahead and keep doing it and then I'll show you You see how close it sits? And so what I do is I kind of just massage it like so. So it kind of takes the form a little better, which it seems to be doing very well. I'm gonna heat it up just a little more. And then I'm, like I said, I'm gonna tape it down. So you see it's sitting real nice and flush right there. I don't even have to massage it, but I'm doing it just so it gets that shape. Um, so I'm just going to heat it up one more time and then throw the tape on and then get to this part Okay, so now that I got it fitting and Exactly where I want it to be now I'm just going to do my sanding my prepping get rid of all the extra little plastic edges that come off when they take it out of the mold And they're still there real quick prep work. I'm going to paint it tonight. It is getting dark obviously I want to paint it tonight um, of course using my my light I'm not going to record any of that stuff once it's all done um, tomorrow and it's ready to put on I'll show you all how it looks so last night I went ahead and painted the uh, front lip 
and it came out pretty good you know those two paints look like they might hold up pretty well uh, it's got a real nice shine to it and again I could definitely always use I have a spray gun I could professionally paint it myself but what I like to do is I like to do this to show other viewers if they wanted just to do a quick paint if they can do it themselves with a paint you can go to the hardware store or to Walmart or somewhere to buy and so like is easy as it is to paint it professionally or with my spray gun I could but that's the whole purpose of these videos to get the uh, you know the everyday person who wants to know if they can paint it themselves for a cheaper rate or because of excitement or because like like we've said this lip sits like about an inch off the ground if not a little higher and let's face it it's gonna take a lot of road tear so why go and spend all that money when it's just gonna get all busted up and especially if you can get it to look this good so it came out really good I just need to actually buff it wax it a little and uh, and put it on so let me show you what it looks like Okay, so I already put it out in the sun just to get it baked a little more, harden it up. And so I don't know if you can see the shine. It's got a decent shine to it. Um, like I said, just need to actually buff it a little and polish it up and it should be ready to get put on. And then, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wash my car just to make it look just as good as this.